making this video because I want to see what my voice sounds like. It's been cracking a lot lately, so I feel like it's going to be getting deeper. But a lot of times I feel like I either have a cold or I don't know what. But I can tell it's cracking because, like, when I sing it'll be high and low and it's just hard to explain. I just can tell. Um, the other thing is that, as you can see, my hair is all wild. Which, in a way, I think looks cool and looks really masculine, but it also looks really crazy and I don't like it. So tomorrow I'm going to be getting a haircut. So I figured I'd do one last video with me being Mr. Wild Hair here. And I'd like to read to all of you one of my favorite poems, which is Ulysses by Alfred Lord Tennyson. And this is about how Ulysses is old now and he's returned from his journey and he's supposed to be quote-unquote retired and... He's just bored to death and he wants to go on another adventure. And he's talking to all the sailors and soldiers that he worked with in the past. So, this is Ulysses by Alfred Lord Tennyson. It little profits than an idle king by this still hearth among these barren crags. Match with an aged wife, I meet and dole on equal laws unto a savage race that hoard and sleep and feed. No, not me. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I have enjoyed greatly, have suffered greatly, both with those that loved me and alone. On shore and when through scudding drifts the rainy Hyades vex the dim sea, I am become a name. For, always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments, myself not least, but honored of them all. And drunk the light of battle with my peers, far on the ringing plains of windy Troy. I am a part of all that I've met, yet all experienced in arch where through gleams that untraveled world, whose margin fades forever and forever when I move. How dull it is to pause, to make an end, to rust unburnished, not to shine in use, as though to breathe were life. Life piled on life were all too little, and of one to me little remains. But every hour is saved from that eternal silence, something more, a bringer of new things, and violet were for some three suns to store and hoard myself, and this great spirit yearning in desire to follow knowledge like a sinking star, beyond the utmost bound of human thought. This my son, my own Telemachus, to whom I leave the sceptre in the isle, well loved of me, discerning to fulfill his labor, by slow prudence to make mild the rugged people, and through soft degrees subdue them to the useful and the good. Most blameless is he, centered in the sphere of common duties, decent not to fail in offices of tenderness, and pay meet adoration to my household gods when I am gone. He works his work, I mine. There lies the port, the vessel puffs her sail, there gloom the dark broad seas, my mariners, souls have toiled and wrought and thought with me, that ever with a frolic welcome took the thunder and the sunshine, and opposed free hearts, free foreheads. You and I are old. Old age hath yet his honor and his toil. Death closes all, but something ere the end, some work of noble note may yet be done, not unbecoming men that strove with gods. The lights begin to twinkle from the rocks. The long day wanes, the slow moon climbs, the deep moans round with many voices. Come, my friends, tis not too late to seek a newer world. Push off and sitting well in order smite the sounding furrows. For my purpose holds the south beyond the sunset and the bath of all the western stars until I die. It may be that the gulfs will wash us down. It may be we shall touch the happy isles and see the great Achilles whom we knew. So much is taken, much abides. And though we are not now that strength which in old days moved earth and heaven, that which we are, we are. One equal temper of heroic hearts, made weak by time and fate, but strong in will, to strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield. I know I'm not old. I'm pretty young. I'm going to be 34 next month. But I really identify with this a lot because I am on the cusp of something new in my life and I am restless and I am impatient and I am like, there's a lot more to life than this and I'm finding it. So I just wanted to share that for all of you guys and I'll talk to you later.